Hey everybody, welcome back to craftingonabudgetstore.com for all your scrapbooking and creative needs. Today I am going to be doing a project. We're still working with the Minte um, Time of Wonders Christmas paper. We already did a book and we did a folio. Today I'm going to just switch it up a little bit and, and do a couple of little projects that are going to have to do with um, decor. Um, because not everybody wants to use this paper for books and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I thought we'd switch it up and try something else. I'm so sorry I haven't been on. I haven't been feeling good and May told me to rest, um, in no uncertain terms. <laughs> she, she would yell at me if I was making videos, um, because she knows I have pneumonia and, it's been taking a while to get over it, guys. I have to say, I guess, you know, the older you get, the harder it is to recover. And that's definitely the case with me right now. Um, I'm tired a lot um, and all that kind of good stuff. But I'm breathing a lot better. My pulse ox is way better than it was. So I didn't have to go to the hospital, thank God. And so I'm back to do a little craft. Um we're going to be using some Dollar Tree items. I hope that you have a Dollar Tree in your area. If not, you can certainly um, make a circle um, out of chipboard. You'll see where we're going with this. When I, let me just take the tag off of this. I forgot to do that. Um, you'll see where we're going with this. My garbage over. Okay. All right. So I thought what we would do is take this. We only have one full sheet of paper left plus the cutouts and so I thought wouldn't this be cute to do like some kind of a wreath or something so when I went to Dollar Tree I saw these and I thought well I'm never gonna paint this you guys know me and painting don't get along and then I saw this wreath now this wreath is not too bad I wouldn't say it's too shabby to be honest it had a big red bow and a bell, which of course we're not going to use, but I could make it fit on this circle. So that was where I was going with this. I wanted to make it fit on this circle and I do keep bending it. It's, it's bendy, so it's good. You can bend it how you want, um, but I want it to fit on this circle. And then I wanted to have my picture from my beautiful paper kind of like that. You see where we're going? So the first thing I'm going to do, and then I'm going to add the um, these 49 and Market flowers. Um, these are called Garden Petal. Garden Petals, the color is parchment. And I'm also going to be using, of course, the seam binding. I think this is called Fig. I'm not sure. It's a beautiful color. I love the seam binding because I've got to have a seam binding bow on this. So I'll probably use all the flowers in this packet um, because there's some stems and little things we can stick in. One piece of paper. You'll need a round circle and some kind of wreath. Um, you could also take just the branches that the Dollar Tree sells or evergreen branches and just kind of make them into a wreath. I'll tell you that this wreath is 12 inches from side to side and from top to bottom. And my circle is a tiny bit smaller. It's probably like 11 and a half. Yeah, by 11 and a half. So it's a little bit smaller, um, but we're gonna we're gonna work with it. And I'm sure it's going to come out just fine. So let me put the wreath to the side for a second. Um, this is going to be a quick and easy project. Now, I want most of my toy shop to show on this, on, on this wreath. So I'm going as close to the edge as possible on this circle. And then... Let me just say, did I move you? This is just not stable, and I don't know why. I should be okay. I know there is a big glare right in the middle of the thing, and I'm so sorry, but I can't 
fix that until the sun goes down. Um, yeah, I think this should be, well, no, you're going to time will wander. You're going to have to go down. I'm not going to, I was going to see if I could utilize some of this salvage and still have it covered, but it's not going to look right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my scissors and cut this salvage part off so I know that I can't have that as part of the wreath. And I'm going to do the unthinkable and I'm going to hot glue this to the wood and I swear it will be okay. <laughs> It will be okay. I know my paper crafter friends are probably like, oh my gosh, she's hot gluing paper to the, to the wood. This is insane. But that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to do a little bit at a time. Now, I want to warn you about something. When you're hot gluing paper, it gets really hot. I mean, really hot. Like if you were to run your finger over it, reload my glue gun here if you were to run your finger over it's it's really hot so just be careful if you're doing what i'm doing in fact i might do it on this side because i can't see there we go i'm not going to worry about the middle going here just gluing it on and you can put a piece of paper on the back of this but because this is going to hang I'm not going to do that and honestly I don't really think it's a big deal did I glue that side already? I'm losing track of it now And trust me, I've used hot glue on paper a lot, and I never have a drama with it. So it's okay. It works good. <laughs> All right. So now that we got that done, let's cut this paper off. And I'm going to save the scraps because I still want to do the mini books with the little journaling cards that we have left. I, in both sizes, the six by six and the 12 by 12 page, because I have one of those left. So I definitely want to use that. You know me, I like to do a lot of projects with my paper. So um, there we go. Every time I cut through glue, I think of my scissor guy and yes I have a scissor guy and if Kathy Lynn is watching she'll be laughing um I'm just going to save these because we can always use these you know maybe not this piece but we can I'm just going to cut I'm going to cut where I think I could use it I'm not going to save this whole little section here um if Kathy Lynn is watching she'll she'll laugh when I talk about the glue guy I mean my scissor guy I have a sewing shop by my house and the scissor guy will do your scissors for you, um, you know, sh resharpen them and everything. And I have sewing scissors that are ginger scissors. And when I first started crafting, I was just using those scissors. <laughs> I didn't know that that was a no-no, you know, because I was new to the paper crafting, new to all that. And so I was cutting through glue. I was just, I was, it was just a nightmare, my scissors. And so when I brought them for him to fix, he is an old German man, really nice. And he was just like looking at the scissors and in his little accent was like, what is on these scissors? And I was like, well, it's glue. It's hot glue. And he looked at me with such disgust, like how dare I use sewing scissors <laughs> for anything else. So now every time I go to him, I'm afraid. I'm afraid he's going to yell at me. Now, 
I see it's like a little, it's a little, what's the word? Not buckling, because it's not buckling, but there is a little movement there. If you don't like that, then you could probably go in, we could probably go in and just shoot some glue behind to stabilize it. It's really not a problem now. I, I'm really not thinking it's a problem, but if some, you know, because this has an openness to the wood here, I'll just shoot a little bit of glue back there just to stabilize it a little bit. Not a problem. Okay. So here we have it. It's so cute. Now my wreath has this, you know, this gold thing on the top. So I'm going to use this as my, you know, marker for the top. And then this is how it's going to go. And of course, I'm going to stretch it as much as I can because I want to be able to see as much of the toys and the window as I can. And then we're going to glue this wreath on. Oh, it's so cute. Look how cute it looks already. Okay. And this is going to be a very fast project. And if I didn't talk as much, it would really be fast, but I'm just kind of getting this wreath stretchy so that I get it the way I want it. And once I glue it down, it'll be fine. All right, here's my top. So let me remember where my top is. And guys, I'm so sorry about that glare. Let me see. What about if I zoom a little? Makes it, makes it so you could see it better, but you have that glare there, and I'm sorry. I'll hold it up when we're done, just so that you can see how it looks. But it's it's going to look so cute. All right, so what I'm going to start doing is gluing my wreath down. And I'm just putting a little bit of glue. And sticking my wreath down on top of the paper. And I'm just going to do little sections at a time because I don't know how long it's going to take for this. To set up, so we'll just do a little bit at a time. There we go. And I'm just moving it as I go and stretching it as I go too. So just give it a little bit, give it a little bit more. There we go. And this is so cute. And what I like about this is, you know, this, this paper, this Minte Time of Wonders paper was so beautiful, is so beautiful, not was, is so beautiful. And it really, the pages, you just didn't even want to like wreck them. Like we didn't hardly add any, we didn't add like any tags or anything to our book because we just really wanted to enjoy the pictures. So we go. Here we go. All right. Yeah. You can fluff it however you see fit. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Now I'm going to take those beautiful flowers and we're going to put them all over the place. And I was going to use these for something else. And then I said, no, I think I really want to use these for the wreath. So that's what we're going to do. Let me open up this whole pack because I'm going to use every piece of it. And these are really pretty. I've never used these. I usually use Prima flowers. These are 49 a market. They're called parchment. There's 12 pieces in the pack and they're beautiful. They're beautiful. So I do like this top one to go up here because this is the biggest one. So I'll probably put that one there. And then I have maybe one here, one here. 
one see I'm gonna put the bow on the bottom so I'm not really worrying about I'm not really worrying about the placement so to speak down here because I'm gonna have a big bow down there and I'm just adding these little branches that it comes with I like to play with it a little bit see what I like what I don't like Uh, I might have, let me see here if I can wrap this. I'm just wrapping these pieces together because I want them to come out of each side. Can I have two or just one? One. Maybe have these come out at the top and kind of hang down a little bit. I like that. And then I just have this one left, which I might use on top of the bow. We'll see. All right. So let's just start gluing. I'm only going, gluing part of these stems because once we put the flower down, the stem is kind of going to stay put itself because of all the glue. But so I don't really feel the need to glue this whole stem, you know, this whole little stem down. I don't think we need to do that. Gosh, this is so cute. I mean, it, you know, the possibility, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to try not to move that because I like how that looks with it dangling down. I'm just going to add a lot of glue, way, way more than I probably need. But I want to put this here and have these going down like this so you can see the little Whirls. and I'm just pushing this holding it a little bit there we go and I might tuck some more glue under there even though we used a lot oh, look at how cute it's adorable. Now we need a bow for our bottom. I told you this is going to be a fast one. Fast and easy. Which we like. You know, sometimes you just want to do a quick project. You don't want to sit here and be measuring and, you know, all that. I get it. You know? I get that way. And May's been kicking it up too now that she's back. She's been doing a lot of videos. And don't forget to join her Patreon because you'll see even more videos. Um, her videos are just amazing. I mean, she she has such a talent for the mixed media. Um, I really want a big bow, so I don't know. I'll just can't, maybe I'll just keep wrapping it around my hand. I mean, I could use my bow maker. Maybe I'll use my bow maker. I have that Deco Fun bow maker, which may be a good idea for this because I want a bit, a little bigger bow. So let me grab it. I don't even know if I remember how to use this. <laughs> it's been so long. It's been so long since I used this bow maker. But 
we'll use it. I think May might have a, a few of these left in the store. All right. First, we want to put just a piece in there to tie it off. Stick that under there. And then... go like this and you always have to go in between those loops I'm just taking some off my roll here and you can make this even bigger with the pegs go in between there that's the in between and I don't know how many loops I want to do, so I'm just going to keep going until I think it's enough. This might be the last one. Let's see. That gives me how many loops on each side. One, and two, three. Three loops on each side. No, let's just do four. I'm going to do one more time. One more time. There we go. And then I'll cut my tail to be as long as the other one. Put my seam binding over here. Just so we have it. And then you take the two pieces that you put down there and you tie it. I'm not going to go into like a whole full tutorial on this. Everybody has a different way of making bows and I hope I did this right. I feel like I didn't. No, I did. Okay. All right. Um, so... Yeah, if she's going to get them in, like, I think that whatever she has is what she has, and I don't think she's going to get any more in. Um, but if she decides to get more in, then, you know, of course, we'll do, like, a full-blown tutorial on these. So now I'm just fluffing my bow, pulling my pieces every which way. Just to make it fluffy. They kind of want to sit on top of each other. So you kind of have to be a little rough with them. <laughs> there we go. To make it fluffy. Now I like to ball mine up, as you guys know, because I do like it to look shabby. So that's what I'm going to do with mine. You don't have to if you don't like that look. Don't worry. But I just, I like that crinkly look. And then this is going to go right here. Got my strands. Let me cut them. Now I have four because I used that piece to tie it off, but you could cut that piece off if you don't want four strands. So that's up to you. But I kind of like it like that. But before I glue it, I was thinking of putting this, this piece here maybe. going to use this little piece. Maybe I just want to use its little flowers. I might do that. Let's just glue this in place. Again, I'm just fluffing it. Just 
just because I like a fluffy. All right, I'm going to put that at the bottom. So let me just make sure I'm at the center here. Yeah. I'm just going to glue this here. Oh, ran out of glue. Hold up. Ran out of glue. Hold up, guys. <laughs> And I'm just going to put it right there. This is so cute. Now let me see if I take one of these flowers off. I might not be using the whole pack. I might have one, one actual flower left. But I thought maybe put this here in the middle. I do like that. A little tiny one. There we go. Look at how stinking adorable, guys. With just one piece of paper. I mean, it's so cute. This tail is a little bit too long, I think, but I don't really, I don't really mind it. Now you could put a seam binding loop on the top if you want, if you don't like that gold one. I'm not, I'm not worried about the gold one. I like it. So I'll leave it. I mean, it's just going to hang. Well, actually I'm going to have to do it because I didn't do it centered. <laughs> All right, let's put a seam binding loop. I thought I was centered, but I got a little off somewhere, so that's okay. We'll just grab a piece of seam binding and make a new loop. I like to make it kind of like the awareness ribbon, and then I glue these pieces together here before I glue it onto my project. And yes, it's hot, so be careful. <laughs> And then let's see where our center is. Our center is right here. Yep. And because I added that little tiny bit of glue there, it does kind of stay in position for you a little bit because it's still warm. I just want to make sure I'm centered. Yeah, I'm centered now. Let that dry. There we go. And there you have it. I'm not going to hold it by the loop right now because it's still drying. But there you get a good glimpse of how it looks. It's so super easy to do. I mean, it was $2 worth of stuff from the Dollar Tree. A page of your paper some glue, some seam binding, and some flowers. And you could even have put poinsettias, poinsettias, however you say them, um, in there if you didn't have the flowers. You know, you could use whatever flowers you have. I just happen to have those flowers, and I'm so happy I do because I, I love those flowers. I think they're so pretty. But look at how cute that is. I mean, just a cute, simple home deck project that you can do with this paper. So think out of the box. A lot of times, you know, and I, I think that was for me in particular, I just always saw paper as I uh, have to make a journal. You know, I never, like I always was intimidated with paper because I always thought, what am I going to make with it? I, a scrapbook, a journal, uh, you know, and until I started doing it, you know, and then I was realizing, well, wait a second, I can use paper for uh, a, a a home decor design. We're going to do a tree probably with paper at some point when we get to the next pad that we're going to use. Um, but like I said, we're finishing up with the Minte first. So be patient. More to come. I hope you like this project. It was quick and easy. It didn't take us very long. And um, you know what I'll say. Stay safe. Be well. God bless you all. And bye for now.